In this video, we will be working through question 5.2 of Math Lit Paper 1, November 21. If you would like to download a copy of this question paper, the link is in the description below. Question 5.2 Marius wants to buy a new laptop. He studied the available data for the three most popular brands of laptops sold in South Africa. The box and whisker plots below show in percentages the spread of the market share of the Samsung, Apple and Huawei laptop brands from the fourth quarter in 2019 to the third quarter in 2020. From the box and whisker plots we see that Apple has a spread of market share between 10,2% and 19,9%. Samsung has a spread of market share between 14,6% and 20,2%, and Huawei has a spread of market share between 18,8% and 23,5%. We are instructed to use the box and whisker plots above to answer the questions that follow. 5.2.1a Write down the name of the most popular laptop brand. One way to find the most popular laptop brand is to compare the average market shares of all three brands. From the box and whisker plots, we see that the most popular laptop brand with the highest mean market share is Huawei. 5.2.1b Hence, write down the 50th percentile of the brand identified in question 5.2.1a. The mean market share is also known as the 50th percentile. So the 50th percentile for Huawei is 21,5%. 5.2.2 Calculate the interquartile range of the Samsung brand. The interquartile range is the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile and is determined using the equation interquartile range equals upper quartile minus lower quartile. From the box and whisker plot for Samsung, the upper quartile is 18,75% and the lower quartile is 15,7%. So, the interquartile range equals 18,75% minus 15,7% and this gives us a value of 3,05%. 5.2.3 A data analyst claims that 75% of the data set of Apple was less than 16%. Explain whether or not this statement is valid. We should know that 75% corresponds with the 75th percentile. From the box and whisker plot of Apple, the 75th percentile of the data set is 15,95%. And this value is less than 16% as claimed by the data analyst. So the data analyst statement is valid. And that's going to be it for question 5.2. If you found this video helpful, you can check out this video next.